are here in Ann Arbor at Soul Street Kitchen. Hello. <laughs> John, you're one of the owners here. I am. You are. Talk to me about what you got going on because you have a really unique style of chicken. Yeah, we brought the Korean style fried chicken here to Ann Arbor. It's one of our personal favorites whenever we go to major metropolises that have large Korean towns. This is one of the most famous dishes out there. They're going to be saucing up some of the chicken right now. So you guys take it out of the fryer and you hand brush each, each piece, piece. Oh, yep. every time with the glaze. You have two kinds of glazes, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. The soy garlic. Yeah. Hot and spicy. And soy garlic. And soy garlic. And is then, one more popular than the other? Uh, I think the soy garlic is pretty popular, but there's you know enthusiasts who want to try something really spicy, and we have that sauce here. So you can even option to do half and half, which is what I did. Yep. <laughs> so that's a very popular option too, so they can get it both, uh, taste it both. Nice, nice. And now you also have other Korean specialties here. Yeah, we have our bibimbap, which is uh, a mixed rice bowl that has vegetables that are prepared Korean style, and then a bed of rice, and then a fried egg on top with protein that you can put on the side, like chicken or beef. Ooh, that um, we have Korean style tacos, which actually marinate some of the meat inside of that tacos and it's prepared uh, in that way. And then we have uh, typical fried rices that we serve in uh, Korean restaurants. Uh, and then we also have side dishes, which are kind of like appetizers, uh, rice cakes, which is called dakboki. We have uh, another dish, it's a side dish called uh, kimchi fries. And so we take the traditional uh, fermented cabbage, uh, we actually caramelize it and put on top of a bed of french fries. Ooh. And it's it's almost kind of like the Korean style uh, baked potato, uh, <laughs> that sense of putting stuff on there. So it's what, another one of our famous uh, appetizers on there. And you guys have been open for, for five years now. We just passed our five year mark. Congratulations. So, thank you, thank you. I love your story though. That <laughs> tell, tell everybody how what happened here. That you're. Um, we're a bunch of friends. We're actually not restaurateurs. And so we had an idea of trying to bring something unique to Ann Arbor that we enjoyed. Um, and so each one of us uh, contributed to getting this set up. It was the first endeavor for all of us. So we kind of had to learn uh, the hard way. Uh, but it's been really rewarding to kind of see something that you've created uh, that's, you know, almost organic being set up and um, make it five years already. So we're, we're really, we're happy with what's what pretty. Happened. It's pretty amazing. You're right, it is pretty amazing. Yeah. It's a big deal. <laughs> oh, we got more chicken. Yeah. So okay. the wings. Yeah. Hand-painted chicken. It's the first time I've seen this. I love it. What's your busiest day of the week? Uh, the weekends, Friday, weekends. Saturday, and Sunday. They're and you're pretty open for insane. both lunch and dinner, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. If people want to uh, get more information about Soul Street, uh, you go to our website, eatsoulstreet.com. You can also place an order on the website. You can place an order online so and that if you don't. should order, right? Yes. If you're getting the fried chicken, we definitely recommend you ordering ahead of time because we go. We make it from scratch, so it's not pre-prepared or anything. As soon as it's ordered, that's when we start cooking it so that it's nice and fresh when you get it. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of one of those things where it's worth the wait and you have to be a little bit patient, but uh, we definitely want to make sure that our products is worthwhile. Yeah. All right, go visit Soul Street. You're in Thank Ann Arbor. You. Order ahead. <laughs>